George. When you manage as well as you play, then I'll stay out of your face. There's no way to run a team, Georgie boy. Now you listen to me. You listen to me good. Sims hits cleanup. Sims hits where I tell him to hit. Fucking Sims hits fucking cleanup. Fucking Sims hits where I fucking tell him to hit. showed us what being a professional is all about. Watched in awe as the spark plug won every individual honor Major League Baseball has to offer. And we watched in awe last winter when our Sparky took on a second job. The job of coaching his own teammates, and not just coaching them, but coaching them to something this town has never seen uh, before. Thanks to this man right here, I'm guaranteeing that next year we're going to win the pennant. That's right, it's guaranteed. Well, there you have it. Those famous last words again. What do you say, Mike? You think the spark plug can pull it off? It's a little weird. I'm down, Doc Mark. Are you down? I'm getting killed. I swear, I'm getting killed. Thanks a lot, Hamill. The market is down. Hold on, buddy. Well, next time, put your money in a sock bin, okay? Yeah. Back in, smack in. Just tell me I'm rich. Isn't that nice? Isn't that real nice? Don't you like that? All right, kiddies. It's time to play our game. Are you sure you remember how? Just hit the baseball, Sims. I'll handle the clever stuff. All right, listen up, everybody. We're going with Reinhardt. Tends to follow up his curve with a brush back. So don't get suckered and don't back off. You get beamed, you get on base, we score more runs. Okay, anybody got anything left to say? All right then, we're going to win the pennant. Oh yeah, Sims, changing the dance card. You're leading off on betting cleanup. Do what? You're leading off, big guy. No way. I got more homers, more hits, more RBIs than anybody, including you. Check the stats. So? So I should be hitting cleanup. Right. The best hitter always bats cleanup, right? Right. Wrong. That's why I'm going to end up owning this team, and you guys are going to end up selling Montegos on the Beltway. <laughs> Any further questions? <laughs> okay, boys. The factory's open. Punch the clock. Let's go to work. Let's go. Catch up in a minute. Five minutes. It's gonna take ten, Sparky. Tommy, I do have another job here if you don't mind. We can't do this again before game time, guys. Did you sign on the T-shirt? Oh, let me see the damn thing again. Oh God, is it ugly? No, forget it. Pay off Andre. We start all over with new artwork. This Sparky bar looks good. They're gonna go with a no good filling. Round, not square, right? Right. What about this? Later, we'll talk about it later. All right, let us through. Okay, 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 babe, I know you're in a hurry. No kidding, I've got this appointment, see? This baseball thing I do in my spare time is a hobby. I got time for one take, so let's do this quick. It's just a pickup, Sparky, the last little piece. The client wants a little more pop and that smile when you tag the product name, okay? Come on, you can do this here, sweetie. And don't sweat the sound. You'll end up clean tracks when we get back, all right? Right. Up, up. Going? Where speed? Mark. Action. Performance. Dependability. When you've got both, you've really got something. Get something. Estrada. For winners only. Estrada, you make me kick up my heel.
I uh, want to thank you all for being here. However, I do have some bad news. The doctors tell me I've managed to rupture my anterior talofibular ligament, which translates into my playing days are over. However, I do want to thank God and George that I have a second career as the manager of this great team, and I just want to say the guarantee still stands. We're going to win that pennant. Sparky, right. listen. Right. Sparky, listen. Sparky. Smith, could you comment on the news that the Mariners have just signed Bob Burns as new manager? You can't dump me, you scumbag. Collaborate. Right. Will you call security, please? This dumb son of a bitch. We're going to take the pennant. Pennant, yes. We, uh-uh. With the team I built around you, my mother could win the pennant. You can't do this. Oh, yes, I can. It's expensive. But it's worth it. Bob Burns is a bum. Bob Burns is a nice guy. Bob Burns doesn't yell at me. Bob Burns doesn't trash me into papers. Bob Burns is going to put sins. I clean up. Oh. Sparky, careful. Hi, right, gentlemen. Would you see Mr. Smith outside, please? You just made a big mistake, mister. I walk out this door, and in two weeks, I'm managing another team. And then you know what? I'm going to take that pennant from your greedy little hands, Georgie boy. Ah, uh, never happened. Never happened. Will you butt wipes the Gestapo? You'll be here for my lawyer, you asshole. I don't want to say I told you so, but I advised you about that buyout clause. Well, it's a hell of a lot of money. At least there's that. A hell of a lot of money? Sparky, get real. That check is spent already. That little investment in the pool company, the sneaker fiasco, the boat, your cabin. Broker says it's the biggest white elephant. All right, all right. Just the highlights. The highlights? You're broke. You're my business manager. If I'm broke, you're broke. No, no, no. I've got other clients. Clients who don't have two ex-wives, who don't invest in their friend's poodle parlor, contrary to my advice. Okay, so I need money, so I go to work. Jack? Glaciers put a hold on the candy bar. The other endorsements are up in the air. They're waiting to see where you'll land. Where do I land, Jack? The Braves, the Cardinals, or the Astros? Well, Atlanta got cold feet and withdrew the offer. St. Louis isn't returning my phone calls. And, uh... Houston went with Billy Ray Noble. Billy Ray Noble's a bum! Hey, what is this? It's like somebody's trying to... Sparky, you got a bad name with management. You just like the butt heads too much. Right, back it up. Keep going. Keep going. Right behind you. Up we go. All right. Where's the TV? Hello, Sparky. How are you? Sorry about your ankles. Sorry about your career. Hello, Sparky. How are you? Sorry about your ankles. Sorry about your career. Where's the TV? Hello, Cynthia. I thought you were going to give Connie lessons on how to be my ex-wife. I think she's doing just fine on her own, big boy. Or haven't you looked outside? Two moving vans, and I remember I only had one. <laughs> the TV? How the hell do I know where the TV is? The settlement said... The hell with the settlement, and I don't know where the damn TV is, and I don't care. So just take everything and don't screw around with me. Believe me, that's the last thing I want to do.
And how about that teacher? He's a bum. Mr. Smith, he moved. Uh, please, Mr. Smith, we are having to speak with you. Look, I sent her the check last week. If she didn't get it, one of her boyfriends cashed it. Now leave me alone. Uh. Please, Mr. Smith, we're a baseballist like yourself. Baseballists? Yeah. May we enter? Let me introduce my colleague, Dmitry Dolorov. Dmitry Vanch. Ah, what is it? yes. How do you do? We are from the Russian Sports Ministry. Uh, as you know, baseball is to be a medal sport in Olympics in 1992. Now, uh, we in uh, Russia have many very good athletes, and uh, we have great desire to achieve good results as baseballists. But we lack knowledge of game. It's a very strange game. Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell you about baseball? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just the figure of speech. Tell me about it. It means I agree with you. Uh, uh, tell me about it. Huh? Tell <laughs> me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are these guys? <coughs> Kids, to be playing with language, we need a coach for our national Olympic team. So you want a recommendation? No, we want you. No, 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 no. I don't think we ought to rule out anything, Sparky. No, no, no. Sparky, listen. They're offering you a monthly stipend, looks like 70,400 rubles. What's that in dollars? A ruble. Guys, no, this is not the gig I'm holding out for. It's cold there, the food's bad. They talk funny, and they're communists. Communists? Sparky, is it possible you have no idea what's going on in this world? Do you ever watch the news? All right, all right. So some of them are communists on Mondays and Wednesdays and alternating Fridays. And yes, it's terribly exciting and wonderful what's going on there. And no, I don't want to go to Siberia for my baseball fix. Thank you very much. Next. 70,400 rubles works out to $2,200. $2,200 a month? I can make that taking a practice swing. Come on. I paid them for this. He's kidding. Tell me he's kidding. He's right, Sparky. Don't you get it? Don't I get what? I don't want to go to Russia. I like it here. Johnny Appleseed taking baseball to our new friends at this most important moment in history? No. The eyes of the world will be on you. No. By the time you get back, we'll have sponsors lined up around the block. Father told me never to trust those guys. Didn't you see it? Sparky Smith drinks up Coca-Cola against the Kremlin wall. Stop it. I'm not going to do it. You hear me? Thank you. 
Пожалуйста, должна быть резервация. Нет. В прошлой неделе у нас была резервация. На американцы с парки снизу. Да, дайте нет, мне сюда нет, бумаги, нет. я сама посмотрю. Ну, девушки. Love the country. Really interesting. Tomorrow we do something American. Baseball? Baseball is played here? Of course, this is only temporary. The new stadium is under construction. Oh. Mm -hmm. Vladimir Sergeyevich, познакомьтесь. Sparky Smith. Vladimir Voronov, coach of the Russian baseball national team. Coach? Uh, both of you are coach. Mr. Voronov hopes to learn from you. He'll do as you wish. No. I hope to learn from you. Pleased to meet you. Uh, perhaps you would like to meet the players now? Okay, this way. Uh, expecting some serious competition, are we? Uh, <laughs> Uh, from the time of World War II, as you can see, we're not at the top of the sports minister list. No lie, Molokai. name. <laughs> 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 Hello, Sparky. We're very pleased to have you here. <coughs> but Boris Braidovich, Olympic hockey, right? Mm -hmm. Many of our baseball players are honored masters first class, recruited from other sports. Boris Braidovich, hockey, now to base. Ivan Strakovsky, shot putter, now left infielder, Vasily Velich, Sim Henbol, now pitcher, and Leonid Kutsuzov, 100 meter dash, now center fielder and base, skilling specialist. How about you? Andrei Gancherov, Andy, shortstop, 
Do you come from another sport? No, sir. Baseball is my game. Well, I get the feeling uh, some of you are less than happy about being here. I know you're from other sports, so maybe this is second best for you. But if any man doesn't want to give 110% to the best damn game in the world, they can hit the trail right now. Okay. Let's get out of this dungeon and play some baseball. Let's go, let's go, let's go! An interesting speech. So I will return, but for now I must go and look after other important business. Other important business? Uh, Phil Parkey and uh, Badminton. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I'll be in my office if you need me. I wish to bowl with you and keep your needs satisfied. Oh. And we come together with success? That would be nice. Good luck. Adis! Adis! Adi! 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 All right. Let's get him out to positions, Vladimir. Excuse me. Did we begin practice with throwing the drill? Yeah, well, uh, let's pepper them, see what they got. Manuel told us this is best. And, well, Cuba came to Soviet Union last year. Very helpful in training. Manuel said the best... Yeah, Vladimir, listen, I know you must be less than thrilled winding up with me, but that's the way it is. What do you say we, uh, work together? Stay! Paisa! Come on, you boys! Come on, get down there. Okay, boys, look alive, look alive. Two hands, two hands. Heads up, heads up! Get on it! Up a step! Keep your eye on the ball. Boys, boys! Mr. Smith, have you gotten your food wet? Coffee? Look, I didn't expect to be living like a king and coaching the 61 Yanks, but this is ridiculous. Not only am I living in a place that's so small that the mice are hunchbacks, but I'm also coaching a bunch of guys who wouldn't know baseball if it popped out of their ass. And Coach Vladimir, I didn't know I had an evil twin brother, Warrenoff, has his head so far off his ass, the only time he sees light okay, is when stop he... Okay, stop it, stop it! There is no reason for profanity. Right, suicide is a better option. Please, continue with your analysis. My analysis? Fine. Equipment. Vasily is using a goalie club, and I think I saw somebody with a kitchen mitt. And then there's the balls. There's nine of them. Three of them are waterlogged, and one of them has hair. Okay, now, are you finished? Finished is exactly what I am. Great, then I shall speak. Our allocation of resources is not such that we can provide mansions and limousines for sports coaches. We suggested to you that you come for cultural and ideological reasons. There is work to do. As the Americans say, spit or get off the pot. Spit or get off the pot? Yes. I have a book of American sayings. I do not use these terms. Nilly willy. There it is, right there. Spit or get off the pot. 
printed right here in Moscow. Hmm. Yes. Tanya, can we talk about equipment? I would be pleased. Everything. Uniform, gloves, balls, bats. And then we need the field fixed. Yes. We have already requested the equipment you desire. Great. When does it come? Maybe in eight months. Eight months? I can make the stuff in eight months. This is not New York. It's almost as bad. Please give me two months. Look, I'm, I'm sorry to lose my temper. Your apology is expected. Okay, I'll, I, I'll help you. I'll help you all I can. Mir. Mir. Mir? Okay. I'm glad that now we're able to bowl together in French friendship. Uh, look, I gotta tell you something. To bowl someone means to have sex with them. Se oh, no. It was not my intention. Yeah, I gather that. What you want to do is play ball. Play ball. We shall play mm -hmm. ball. No, any chance you might want to have uh, dinner sometime, say, tonight? He said that he expects the trade deficit to evaporate by 1999. I, from one, would hold my breath. Now the sports and the talk is about baseball, and the team on the tip of everyone's tongue is who? Why, the Seattle Mariners, that's who. And in the world of baseball, they are hot, hot, hot. New head coach Bob Burns paused in his busy schedule for a chat with us today. We talked about this phenomenal drive for the pennant. Oh, yeah, it is. Ten signals. You are familiar? Why don't you show me? Manuel informed us proper dug out the field communication. We have developed it more. There are many foul motions. But key motions are hand on head, buttocks, elbow, scratches of cheek and shoulder. Each game change trigger motions till next motion is what player must do. So, bun, steal, slide, and from dugout, throw to first, throw to second, throw to third. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're calling throws? Of course. Throws? Throws. Calling bunts and setting the field is one thing. Calling steals, sometimes. But calling throws, that's ridiculous. Smith, I accept responsibility for directives from dugout. Accept the way! But if I see anybody look to the dugout before they make a throw, they're getting pulled. Got it? You must be. Mr. Sparky Smith, I am Milo Milo. I have been sent by Tanya Bilova to assist your needs. No! You want to help my needs? Get me some more baseballs. Get me some bats. Get me some clubs. Get me a backstop. But this backstop. Oh, I've been watching you. You got some good moves. Where'd you learn how to play? Flatbush Avenue Park, New York City. My father was stationed at the council's office for six years. I saw the Mets play 49 times. Dozzy Smith is my hero. Andre? Andy. Well, yeah, I wasn't kissing his ass. I was talking with him. He's a coach, huh? What? Buddy. Um, 
we love, right? Listen, did you happen to see a Walkman last time you were in here? Yes, I took it. Oh. Well, I'd prefer if you're going to borrow something of mine, you ask in advance. I don't borrow it. I sold it. Come on, Come on, you got a backstop for a Walkman? No. For a Walkman, I get two cases of Italian windshield wipers. No. Yeah. For windshield wipers, I get one case of shampoo and one case of toothpaste with fluoride and tartar control. No. Yeah. For shampoo and for toothpaste, I make very good trade for pneumatic German nail driver for construction purposes. No. Yeah. For nail driver, I get 244 latex condoms. Excellent quality. Red. For condoms, I get backstop, fence and installation, and two Volkmans. I keep one Volkman with your permit. My permit? Milov, my boy, I think we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> I came to thank you for Milov. Thanks, but perhaps we should discuss this at my office. I figured you went outside channels to help me. I could go outside channels to thank you. I, I would have called, but I couldn't find a phone book anywhere. Oh, yes, uh, the Moscow phone book is very rare. I've never seen one myself. Well, maybe you could give me your number. Uh, I don't have a pen. Maybe you've got one inside. I would like to invite you into my apartment. Great. Mama, у нас гости. Добрый день. Дед, дед, это Спарки Смит, американец. Помнишь, я тебе говорила, он не говорит по-русски. It's my grandfather. Grandmother. Mom, Спарки Смит, my mother. Tanya, what I say, I kaifovats, Vasha Ruka Pomuch. Perhaps we should go out. Great. How's with Anya? You know, I was uh, trying to tell him you're great and you really give me a hand uh -huh. at work. Did I uh -huh. say it right? <laughs> You told my grandmother that every day in my office I make you feel very good using my hands. Uh-huh. Oh. Yes. So, how'd, uh, how'd you get into baseball? I ran on the national track team for several years. My former husband was a, was a coach. Oh, that's a coincidence. I'm a former husband. I know. Twice. Oh? What? Harry, a line. Oh, uh, what for? I don't know. This shop is very good. Two weeks ago, they had Italian perfume, and very often they get a toilet paper. What's that? Face cream. We wait. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rook. How is it? Fine. <laughs> anyway, we noticed he stuck his tongue out a little bit before he threw his curve. We, we, we nailed it for two seasons before he finally figured out what was going on. We must report this information to Coach Voronov. Now, goodbye? Well, uh, maybe we can stand in line again sometime. Perhaps. We could uh, talk baseball, you know, work stuff. Okay, goodbye. Oh, my baby. One cannot make omelette without breaking egg. Ему ну-ка принеси сюда, пожалуйста, этот ролл. Для КГБ. It is same leather used for KGB overcoats. It is the highest quality and KGB don't need it no more. What does he want for uh, 18 gloves? О, у тебя это будет стоить, видимо, где-то кончик, тюка, сет и дуга. One VCR and three videotapes. Dr. Zhivago, Deep Throat, and Debbie does Dallas. 
You get the VCR. The Embassy Marines can help us out with the tapes. Dr. Zhivago might give us some trouble. Hey guys, look! Marky Smith! Game? Against U.S. Embassy Marines. We play them frequently for practice. Our only local competition. They're very good. If you don't mind, I'd like to be informed when you do these games. Did you not read the report I gave you? I looked at it. They always win. It's painful, but experience is important. In the spring, we play other countries. Cuba first. Well, maybe today we start turning things around. Maybe, maybe. All right, guys, that's it. Okay, okay. Listen up, listen up. It's nine to nothing. They're killing us. They're going to win, so let's learn something. I want everybody to take the first two pitches. Take. What those mean, take? It means don't swing. But we can win. Yeah, right. Just take the pitches. All right, let's go. I could have seen it Boris, I told you to take the first two pitches. You're out of the game. Junior, you're in for Boris. But without Boris, we have no chance of beating this Amerikansky got new keys. I don't give a damn whether we beat the Amerikansky or not. We've got work to do. Hey, Boris, hold it. The whole point was so you can watch a pitcher who's got something. Is that his point? The point is not have American win. Just watch the picture. Going somewhere later? Maybe stand in line together? No. Thank you. Hey! Wait a, wait a minute. What's going on here? 
Why, why am I being treated like I've got the plague? Is this how honored guests are treated in a motherland? Okay, that's not my place to question your methods. Only to observe. You gave the speech Thursday, which questioned the sincerity of the team. Today you put their captain on the bench. That's why you get cold shoulder. From them I understand, from you I don't. It's not my job to become your girlfriend, Sparky Smith. What? Talk louder, you guys. I can hardly hear you. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have been wondering. Wait a minute. I don't, I don't want to hear any excuses. You just go out there and find me something national so that all of this is worth it, or I swear... When I get back to the States, I will terminate both your worthless careers with extreme prejudice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a very important appointment. And now, the Voice of America Sports Special. Tonight's game was played yesterday in the States, featuring the hottest team in baseball, the Seattle Mariners against the Oakland A's. We now join the broadcast from Seattle. Motion's picture perfect, but he just doesn't have it. And, uh, pitching is problem. Soviet sports do not include throwing. Soccer and track and field are being foot games. Well, unless we find a pitcher somewhere, we might as well bag it and go home. Oh, buddy, where you been hiding at? Ford off, look. Throw that thing again, Philly. I have saw it, Smith, but Manuel told us sidearm pitch, not good baseball. What are you talking about? That pitch broke 90. But Manuel explained overhand throw is proper delivery. Sidearm makes impossible for curve or sinker. It would be making him one ball pitch. Well, one ball's better than none. Besides, Jackie Evans threw sidearm, and he had a slider, a change, and a hell of a fade. But Manuel explained. Listen, Vladimir. I know this Manuel helped you a lot, but Manuel ain't God. Now, maybe Vasily's delivery's a little weird, but frankly, I don't care if he bends over and shoots it out of his jopa. That's one hell of a pitch. I, uh, I I've got some business this afternoon. Do uh, you mind uh, finishing up for me today? Uh, sorry, fellas, something came up, just couldn't avoid. Here in Moscow, they've got a lot of interesting drinks. Kvass, fermented mash yogurt, and this green stuff. They're all good. But you know what my favorite drink is in Moscow? Coca-Cola, the world's drink, available everywhere on Earth. Cut. That's got it, Sparky. That was great. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. What are you all doing for dinner? Oh, we've got a plane to catch. We're homeward bound. You stuck here? Yeah, I'm Moscow bound and gagged. Ah, oh, too bad. Come on, man. Thanks, A.B. Sure you guys don't want to go to McDonald's? They let me in the front of the line. Go away. Best meal I've had since I got here. How do you keep this place a secret? I don't the prices do. 130 rubles. Oh man, I don't think I've got that much. Oh, stop! It is my pleasure. But that is why we must talk. Let me be direct. There is one thing of value in Soviet Union. Hard currency. How many dollars do you have? Ah, uh, that's the rub. They pay me in rubles. I've only got about $3,000. Only $3,000? Yeah, it's about 96,000 rubles, right? Oh, no. Please, do not tell me you have been changing dollars for rubles at official rate. About 2,000 so far. Oh! 
In shadow market, the 96,000 rubles you get would have been something like 300,000 rubles. Promise me you will do no such thing again. Please, let me take over your financial and personal transactions. All right. Good. Now, we must make a list of your requirements. Professional for baseball and private for the comfort of your living. Okay. Bats, 30, various weights and sizes. A pitching machine. You sacrifice yourself too much. As a visitor, you should have decent place to live and decent automobile. Are you sure you don't have some American blood in you? All blood is the same. <laughs> to do as we wish. I'd have thought you'd be anywhere but practicing. He's not practice. Okay. Well, I was going to line the field, but I guess I could wait till tomorrow. Mr. Smith. We appreciate if you not mention our presence to Coach Voronov. Have fun. He settled. Matter of time. No, it's not settled. He says the pitcher should cover first base on the Texas Leaguer instead of home. He's right. Oh. Uh -huh. Even if there's a man on third? Manuel says first. And let the run score? Fly ball between infield and outfield pitcher covers first. Sorry, Vladimir. Runner on third changes everything. Home is a hell of a lot more important than first base. Manuel says first. Manuel? 
prepared by Cuban baseballists and Soviet sports specialists and researchers. Manuel is a manual? Uh. Now he covers home. <coughs> Excuse me. Sparky, I'm here to take you to the new stadium to inspect progress. Glad you came by when you did. That Voronov's making me crazy. He has much to learn from you, but perhaps you have something to learn from him. Please, do not be disheartened. No one expected it completed in the fall. Maybe next spring. Actually, I'll be sorry when it's finished. I've grown fond of our little field. Uh, I thought you hated it. Our teller practice, you said. Yeah, but it reminds me of something. What? Baseball. Ah, I understand the joke. It's a baseball field, but a very bad one. No, actually, in a lot of ways, it's a very good one. Sunday, I, I was at our field, and the guys were there. You know what they were doing? Playing. Playing baseball. Not the way they do when I'm around, and certainly not the way they do when Voronov's around. They're playing like a bunch of kids. It's been a long time since I've been around that. That's baseball. You sound like an old man. I am an old man. I'm gonna get a lot older a lot sooner if I can't find the key to pull these guys together. Short of that, I'll settle for another pitcher to cycle with Vasily. I don't think I can help you with your key, but your pitcher, perhaps that's another story. So far, so good. His serve must be 110 miles an hour. You see how it curved? Small round ball, not unlike baseball. His physique and temperament are very well suited to the role of pitcher. Миша, Миша, ради бога, извините. Мы из спортивной федерации. Вот это американский бейсболист Парки Смит. Он вам собирается задать буквально несколько вопросов. Хорошо? Слушайте. Tell him I want him to throw the ball and make it curve the way it does when he uses his racket. Попросил, чтобы вы закрутили мячик так, как закручиваете теннисные ракеты. Крученый мяч. Да, правильно, крученый мяч. Good. Now, try this. Tell him if he hits Lenin in the Huiz, I give him 50 rubles. Uh, he asked us to get out. If you get out, he gives 50 rubles. Shoot. Some bitch broke three feet. Boys and girls, we got ourselves another pitcher. Woo! A spine tingling first time world championship for the Mariners. Just an unforgettable game. The celebration continues. There's a fly ball deep, deep to left center field. It's gone. The Mariners win. The Mariners win. A spine tingling first time world championship for the Mariners. I still can't believe those jerks did it. They would have done even better if you were there. That's Sparky. Thanks. But how do you do better than win the World Series? Perhaps if it was real World Series. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this might help take your mind off the World Series. Ah, uh, you win some, you lose some. I hope you are not entirely unhappy here. Oh, I'm getting used to it. Made a few adjustments. Let's see, always take off your windshield wipers before you park your car. Always take the buttons off your clothes before you send them to the dry cleaners. No heat in August <laughs> while they're cleaning the boilers. And here the swimming pools don't open until the winter time. It's beginning to make some sense. How am I doing? You're a good sport. Look, this is the Kremlin. Some of our most beautiful buildings are here. 
if you could like leave here, let's say, and move to the States, would you? No. Why? I I love it here. It's it's my home. Yeah, but the shortages and it's so difficult to get things done. Doesn't that get you down? Of course, but uh, that's a reason to stay, not to leave. Fix it. But all the uncertainty. You know, I'm very proud of what is happening. It's very exciting to be here at this time. Maybe <laughs> like America in uh, 1776. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to go inside the Kremlin? Tanya. Yes? You were right about me. I came here for all the wrong reasons. But I want to tell you something. When I take a job, I don't do it halfway. I'm going to turn these guys into baseball players if it kills me. That's why I'm here. I'm glad, Sparky. First, I thought you came to Russia to sell your soul. Nah. I'm just another bum who coaches baseball. My, my, but these uniforms are pretty. Hey, Sparky, let's hope your boys can play as good as they look. Just play baseball, Jarhead. Duh. Oh, God, I want to beat these jerks. Okay, Iggy, pick out a good one, kid. Is Manuel. <laughs> Just swing as hard as you can, Leo. It's in God's hands now. Okay, big guy, let's go. Let's 
Baseball. Oh, why baseball? Baseball. What, what, what are you doing here? Old age. I was injured. Could not play hockey so good anymore. Well, how, how did you get here? Old age. I was injured. Could not play baseball so good anymore. <laughs> 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 what is this shit? It's right here. You like? Oh, you lie. You lie. No American can like Russian tribe here. Oh, shit, man. I was eating beef jerky before I had teeth. Oh, shit, man. I was eating dry herring after I lost teeth. Oh, man. You got me. You gonna pass out? No. <coughs> Me neither. <coughs> 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 Sorry, Sparky, is the best I could do. Perhaps before spring, the sports complex will be finished. Why am I not surprised? Let's go, step it up, step it up! Well, we got a long way to go to the Olympics. That's it, that's it, that's it.
want to do what? They can't cancel a sport, can they? It's only a rumor at this point, Sparky. Don't worry. Unfortunately, the sports ministry has never been truly supportive of baseball. No kidding. They are men in little offices, like me. They, they read reports and think about numbers. If they could see some evidence of teams improving... These guys are fine athletes. They're learning the game. They're improving daily. The first game of spring is in three weeks against the Cubans. Oh, I get it. You need to take a win back to these yo-yos. All right? I'm telling you, right here and now, we're going to win that game. It's guaranteed. Bigger than us. They look big. Don't you have more tricks up your sleeve? We don't need tricks, Slim. We need a miracle. Milo, round up every guy's mother and bring him to the game tomorrow. I never saw a baseball player who could stand to lose in front of his mom. Okay, these guys are very good, and so are you. Take off the jackets. Come on, take them off, everybody, get them off. Look at them. Yeah. They're freezing to death. You know why? Because this ain't Cuba. This is where you live. This is where your mothers live. This is your home. And I want you to get on that field and play like you own it. All right? All right! He's trying to own
<laughs> Would you like a ride? <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, the restaurant has called for a taxi. I'll wait with you if you like. At night. It was a good win today. Yes, it was. Do you remember when I said you spoke like an old man? Yes. I think perhaps you're getting younger. Well, watch out so I don't pass you on the way down. You're out of your mind. Him needs to glass and I disagree. A tour against the American pros? They'd kick our butts so bad we wouldn't schrotz for the rest of our lives. Sorry. But you beat Cuban team last week. Cubans have best record in international baseball. They, they beat the American national team regularly. College kids. Besides, we got lucky. Their pitcher went down. We had the weather. We had the mothers. If you send us against the pros, we'll get killed. We'll lose 100 to nothing. We're not ready. Trust me. I think we should consider Sparky's point of view. I am afraid wheels are in motion. Five games, Florida, USA, during professional spring training. Well, count me out. I'm not going back to be my country's latest joke. I should be proud to deep seen. Good fucking luck. Promise me one thing, we, uh, we won't make a big deal out of it, okay? Welcome home, Sparky! Thank you, it's great to be back. Sparky, what are your chances of winning any of these games? Well, it isn't about winning or losing, it's glass no stuff, you know? You mean you won't be trying to win? Well, I, I think you're missing the point. This is America bringing these young Russian guys over here and teaching them our game. And that's America at its best. Scores, they don't really matter. Well, you're really uh, figuring to get obliterated then, Sparky. Yeah, okay, well, I'll see you guys later, all right? Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Go out there and play your game, and don't beat yourselves. All right? All right. All right. All right. I can't hear you! All right! Break three! Break three! Break three!
liven it up a little. It's just a game, huh? You played them tough. We're going to get them next time, huh? That's it. Come on. We got a whole season yet. Take it easy. We're doing just great. Stroll across the old stadium roof. <laughs> no, I saw you coming here. Mm, that's beautiful. I know this must be difficult for you. You mean losing? Well, I'd rather be winning, but they're doing okay. I just hoped we might might win one game. They get better all the time. That bodes well for the future. And we have time to prepare for the Olympics. But against the American professionals, no. I think you were right. There is no chance. Listen to me, Tanya. There's always a chance. This isn't a science. It's a game. Emotions run high. The ball bounces funny. People play over their heads. There is a chance. We may go out there tomorrow and beat those clowns. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell? Goodwill Ambassador. How you doing, Sparky? 
You know, I think you found your true calling, managing a team that goes winless over the entire season. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I hope you enjoy losing, slime ball. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you guys are getting better. They learn something new after every game. Your right hand throws in the mid-90s. Nice, nice. Well, nice if you could put it a little closer to the strike zone. Also, uh, scores are more respectable since we started going easy. But I'm going to play Sims just for you. You know, Sparky, part of me really admires what you're doing, even though you had no choice. I'm still going to enjoy kicking your ass. Don't ask. Sparky! Hey, hey! <laughs> Jack, oh, huh? Don't you ever pick up your messages? Why haven't you called? Oh, baby, good things. Where can we talk? Okay, close your eyes and open your ears. Are you ready? Yes, yes, Jack, I'm ready. <laughs> so come on, tell them already. All right, all right. Now, it's not national, but it might as well be. You, Sparky Smith, are going to be the new color man on all sporting events for KLCA Los Angeles, only the second largest station in Southern California, and one of the largest markets, if not the largest market in the world. A million and a quarter a year for two years. The fattest intro announcer's contract ever negotiated. Early parole, kid. We'll get you out of here right after the Mariners game tomorrow. Here's the ticket. <sighs> Guys, so what can I say? I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> um, but look, let's let's keep this close to home, huh? I um, rather not have the guys, uh, you know, the players know just yet. Tanya, Fornoff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, no problem. Last chance to win one, boys. Nothing left to say. Yeah. Except I, I believe in luck. Great, good luck. And I say. When the factory's open, yeah. you punch the clock and you go to work. Well, boys, the factory's open. So let's punch the clock and go to work! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. That's The world champion Seattle Mariners, led by American League Manager of the Year, Paul Burns. Starting pitcher for the Mariners, last year's MVP, number six, Hank Tracy. All right, boys, let's get on, big guy. Let's go. Batting for the Westland, third baseman, number four.
what can I say? Hernsey has me at cleanup. Tennis players holding them three runs. We got ourselves a pitcher's duel. Pitcher's duel? It's not in the book. This ain't happening. USA, USA, USA! Okay, Leo! That's love, sir. That's love. Vladimir, get your butt in here. Were you? You know better than that. You argue strikes are going to be out of here. You're not going to throw me out. You know why? Because then you're going to have to deal with the Russian coach. And you're not man enough for that. If he's got something to say to me, let him come out here and say it to my face. Say something. He's been talking about you since the first pitch. You, your wife, and your mother in Russian. It's unbelievable. He actually said... Get him over here. Uh, maybe you can reason with us. I think he speaks a little Russian. You're out of here! What? What are you deaf? I said you're out of here! Let's go on! What'd you say to him? I simply said I respectfully disagree with your call. Gee, must have been your tone of voice. Removed from the game. Vladimir Voronov. Now batting, number three, Igor Onegin. Okay, let's go, let's go.
If I get on first base, may I steal? Do you think you can beat him? <laughs> that is for you to decide. And if I'm not here, Leo, then what? Now batting number two. Lionel Kutsas. Pitches up. Ah, get out of here with this noise about pitches. I'm warning you. You blind son of a bitch. Everything that Russian said about you was right. Yeah? Yeah. Well, then, take a hike. Look, look. What did you say? Oh, oh. Remove the game. Game. Russian manager, Smith. Well, it's up to you now, Captain. Have fun. Okay, boys, remember how you played on your day off. Now batting number four, Boris Brujevich. I got thrown out, too. What will they do? I will take the manual. Vladimir, stop. Sit down. Just let him play. Okay? Well, we know what the Russians did at Stalingrad in World War II. Now we'll see what these Russians can do under baseball pressure. Let's go, let's go! Oh.
and for the fans still standing in place. And over in the Russian dugout, I'm not sure they realize what they've accomplished. Congratulations. We all deserve a pat on the back. We almost did it. Almost? <laughs> we succeeded beyond our wildest dreams thanks to you. Perhaps we'll win the medal at the Olympics. What I meant was we almost won. Yes, but that's not why I was congratulating you. Your, your new job, Dollar just told me. Tanya, listen. No, 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 no. No need for explanation. I'm sure you'll be happy in your new work. Goodbye, Sparky. Sparky, you're not even dressed. Come on. Cars out front. Hurry. Let's go. Prashay. Tanya. Listen to me. Tanya, I've been handed an incredible job in television where they'll pay me enormous amounts of money, save my screwed up career, and probably make me more famous than I am right now. So why do I feel like telling my agent and manager to chuck the whole thing because I'm taking a bunch of Russian baseball players to the Olympics and we've got a lot of work to do? Maybe it's because you're a dedicated baseball as Sparky Smith. Maybe. Maybe it's because I'm an egotistical, materialistic, <laughs> capitalistic pig painted the joker who thinks he's in love with you. I see. Yes, well, maybe, um, like you said, Sparky Smith, we've got a lot of work to do. Hey, fella! Hey, Sims! 
Hey, buddy. Hey, are we okay? Thank you. 